Hi again, uh, here I'm going to explain how to work on the income analysis of major assignment one, which is the third uh, page, income analysis. As you see, the third page uh, of income analysis, there are data that are missing. Here we're going to have average weekly income under column B. And already given a year of education so to have those data under average weekly income we need to go to our second page monthly budget and click on C1 here on the blue one and enter your name as the name should be uh, not should be less than five alphabet so here's the instruction actually what are those instruction so I'm just going to enter XXX as if it's a name. Let's enter XX, but make sure you enter your own name. All right? Enter your own name. So that we can have a data generated here under column B. See now? We have data already generated under column B, which is average weekly income according to each year of education. All right, so we're going to use, we use those data to make an income analysis. So this data is telling you that as the number of years of education increase, the number of income per weekly increase as well. All right, so, and this next table, you have similar data, but the average weekly is gonna compute using a, y, a linear equation, which is y equals m, mx plus b. All right, first we're gonna find the slope. That's the first thing we're gonna do, okay? So we're gonna find the slope of those two value, which is uh, the dependent, the dependent value is the uh, weekly income and independent is the uh, year of education, which is X also and Y, all right? So we're gonna use those two data set uh, to co find a slope for those value. All right, so in the, click on cell B27 here, find the slope of these two values, which is X and Y. Click, already I said uh, B27, and the enter equal. So there's a short way to find the slope. Just type in slope. So the slope function is pop up, double click on it. Then you're gonna highlight the y value, All right? Which is the weekly income, highlight it, and then enter comma, All right? After you enter comma, highlight the x value, which is a year of education, All right? Then hit enter. So here's the slope value. Okay, to find this, uh, the intercept, the y intercept, enter equal, then type in intercept. So here's the intercept function, double click on it. The same way, highlight on the y value, and then comma, enter comma, then highlight the x value. All right. Then hit enter. All right, this is the y uh, intercept value. If you double click, then this is a formula, okay? Y intercept, you double click here, you're gonna see the formula, okay? All right. Once you have the slope and when intercept value, you're gonna use those value in this equation as a given equation here, y plus mx plus b, which is a linear equation. Alright, so to find the y value under column E for the each year of education, we're gonna use the linear equation formula. Alright? To find the value for the education of 80 years, the average weekly income is gonna be equal. So M is a slope. So you're gonna click on the slope value. 
here. All right, and times. First times is a enter shift eight for the symbol of multiplication times the number of years plus y intercepts. Here, right? Click on B twenty eight. Hit enter. All right, here's the value. All right, one thing, uh, make sure you read the instruction here. Read all the instruction. All right, that's how we're gonna create your work. So, the instruction said here also, we need to round to the nearest hundreds. All right, so the slope should be rounded to the nearest hundred. Click on the slope value, go here in this uh, toolbar, click the arrow. All right, it's going to round it for you. All right, again, click on the intercept value or intercept. Click on the full value that has arrow, it's going to round for you to the hundreds. All right, here you go. All right, one thing we can keep compute exactly like this for each category. But there's a shortcut. We're going to lock the slope and the intercept value first. To do so, double click here first. So you're going to lock the. This P27 is the slope. So click between P and 27. Uh, enter or type the dollar sign. You do the same for the slope. In uh, inter dollar sign between B and 28, that's where you're going to lock the slope and intercept. All right, now just simply double click at this corner as you move the mouse, the cursor on the right lower corner, it changes to the plus sign. Double click on it. See, the Excel is going to compute for you. All right, make sure you read the instruction, how many decimal places you have to enter. So, um, so make sure you read the uh, instruction uh, regarding the decimal places. All right. So I just give you a rough uh, explanation, but make sure you follow this instruction, okay? All right, next, once you do that, you are asked to, here number six, you are asked to create an um, XY scatter plot on the first table. This table. Alright. Here is the instruction. We're gonna create, we're gonna create a scatter plot graph. Okay. To create a scatter graph, uh, just highlight on those two columns, X and Y value. Alright. Once you highlight those two values, Go to insert the top left corner here, click on insert. Then in the middle of the top toolbar, see the charts for scatter plot. Click the down arrow and you're gonna pick the first one, okay? Alright. Here's the scatter plot. And you are required, just make sure you read the instruction. You're gonna require to make a, a linear equation and linear line here to do so uh, click on the top right which is a plus sign here click on it and again click on the sub menu which is straight line click on the arrow here all right and click the last one more options click on the more option here all right, so we already click, already pick a linear, which is good. And go all the way down, scroll down all the way. And click a display equation here so that you can see the equation. All right, click on it, check this box. 
Now we have the equation right here, okay? We can move the equation right here. All right. So you can see the slope is the same here. Y equals 139.05. We have the same slope. That we compute previously. See here? Slope is the same. And the intercept is the same value. All right? You can find the slope intercept in uh, both ways. All right. Just let's finish the last um, section. And once you have this graph, you're going to answer what value would be. You are asked here. If you go backward to 8 and forward to 24, backward to 8 means from here from 10, you're going to go backward to 10. That means two step backward. And you're going to go forward to 24 here. That means you're going to go four step forward from 24, right? To do so, uh, right click on the line here, all right? And go, go format straight line here. All right, gonna go all the way down. So here in this box forecast, because we're gonna forecast the, uh, for the value of y when it's eight and when it's 24. So to make eight from 10, we go two steps backward. So enter two here, you're gonna enter, uh, I mean forward is, you're gonna go four step forward to make it 24. So forward, you're gonna go four step forward and the backward, you're gonna go two step backward. Here we go. So the graph is extended, all right, both sides. All right. That's, that's the main thing of the income analysis. Make sure you follow each instruction. Make sure the decimal places are entered. Maybe read the instruction how many decimal places is required. And any other formats. Make sure you read everything. Regarding conversion, uh, there's a resource already posted for you guys so you're gonna follow that resource all right the other thing i would like to explain is uh, regarding the menzil budget again make sure you have at least 10 items total from all of the uh from all the uh, utilities or um food entertainment insurance health medical saving and miscellaneous at least at least you should have, you should have 10 uh, items entered. That's the minimum. Right? Thank you for watching.